this video is for anyone thinking about moving to Colorado and just need to know what you need to know, what's good, what's bad. I've been here over 15 years, so maybe I don't have a fresh perspective, but these two that you're gonna see in this video absolutely do. Two viewers of our channel, love you guys. They're uh, gonna give you the pros and the cons from their perspective, moving from Texas, about things that you should know before you move to Denver. So if you're into that, stay tuned. All right, welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we love making videos just like this about what you need to know about living and moving to Colorado. So these fine folk behind me are Tiff and Eric, and they have just moved to Colorado. So instead of you having to hear my old 15 years experience opinions, we get some new blood to the city. They're gonna tell you what in 2023, what they feel are the pros and the cons of living here. Starting with snowfall. Snowfall in Denver, I think is definitely a pro because where we came from before in Texas, we don't really get that much snow. We get like more ice in the air, I think. Um, but in the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, but the snow here in Colorado is so, so much better. It's all fluffy. And whenever it's cold outside, even when it's in the negatives, it still kind of feels amazing. It doesn't feel like your skin is about to break off or you're going to get, you know, Bro. It doesn't hurt your feelings or something. As much, right? Right, yeah. it doesn't hurt your feelings. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. So I love the cold here. I think the snow's awesome. And as soon as the snow's here, the sun melts it away almost every single day of the year. Mm -hmm. And you get a beautiful sunny day in Colorado. So. Nice. Do you like coming from Texas driving in snow? Mm, I don't drive that much. Do you think you're good at it? Because we all think you're terrible and we think you guys from Texas are the problem. I don't think specifically that I'm a bad driver in snow. However, when I still had the Texas plates, I was yeah. terrified driving around here because I knew if I made one mistake, somebody in the area was going to be like, it's because they're from Texas. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. I'm not doing that bad. No, we do so. feel that way. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's how you should feel. Keep it tight, keep it right. Yeah. Don't over exaggerate what you feel your capabilities are because it can get crazy. Quick. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but not as bad, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's hit it with the con because you guys moved here and you started renting and holy Jesus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, rent is ridiculously expensive here. I mean, I think it was in Dallas as well if you would have moved into the downtown mm -hmm. area, but it seems like in the Denver like metro area is still pretty expensive no matter how far out you go. But I think, you know, it's because everybody wants to move here, but still definitely a con. Let's hit him with a pro tiff ticket. Um, I feel like people here are super friendly and more open. Every single place that we've gone here, whenever we go out to like a bar or restaurant, you have at least one person that will come up to you and like say, I like your shirt or your dog's cute or something like that, just to kind of engage in a conversation with you. And I just feel like that doesn't happen as much in mm -hmm. Texas. A lot more people are like, I don't know, more reserved into yeah. themselves unless there's somebody that you work with or, you know, somebody that your friends of a friend with or something. I, I just feel like I didn't make as many like friends or even acquaintances as much as I have here. Awesome, I feel the same way. I feel a lot of that is because there's so many people that aren't from here that they're like more accepting of other people that aren't from here. So I hear that a lot, I love it. You mentioned one of the cons like about your car. Yeah. And it sucked. Yeah, car registration. Car registration sucks here in Colorado. It's not good. It's so expensive, especially compared to Dallas where we came from, where you pay like $80 plus like $30 to get it inspected. All in all, you're in for like $100 to $110. But here, you know, you pay a percentage on your MSRP of your vehicle. And so it ends up being for us was somewhere around four to $500. And I've heard for some other people, it's somewhere around like $1,000. So be ready for that because that is a huge con because we had no idea that that was a thing. Well, let's turn it into a pro. What did you like about spending more money at the DMV? <laughs> I really like the feeling. Well of the Chris Bills yeah. in my hand. I did like getting a Colorado license plate so people wouldn't look at us like, oh, these oh, are yeah, That's true, that's true. <laughs> hey, it's might be worth it. the cost, yeah. Texas. That's true. California. That's true. Oh, true. also the VIN verification thing was weird. Oh my God, yeah. We've never had that before. Because we were from out of state, we had to go to a dealership to get a VIN verification form 
which is basically just a dealership certifying that your car's like is actually yours. Yeah, like we read it. Yeah, it's like here's the VIN. This is a real VIN. Hmm. Well, we probably could have just looked it up, but really weird, and you have to have that for your registration. So and pay for it. Yeah, okay. and pay for it. So. Okay. And I know you guys are dog owners. You have a corgi mm -hmm. and an Aussie. Yep. Yeah. Are they making friends as well? Oh yeah. <laughs> It is a very dog friendly city, but when you take into account how our dogs act, mm. <laughs> they're a little bit wild and crazy. Are they? And, oh, yeah. I mean, they, Texas dogs. They're Texas dogs, huh. you know? They're always trying to sheriff around and lasso other dogs. Well, especially the Aussie dogs. You don't want lasso? Oh, no, dude. <laughs> very opposable thumbs. Huh. Yeah. I say dog friendly is like, there's places in other cities that are like, yeah, we, your dog can come in. But here they're like, get your dog in Better here. Yeah, they yeah. see your dog. Yeah. Bring don't want bring you. Your dog. <laughs> yeah. That is cool because there's a lot of patios and things hanging out. Sometimes it's almost like too many though. Well, it's never too many. It's never too many me. dogs. It's just too many dogs for our dog who comes uh, yeah. in and is like, I gotta play with everybody. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, except like you said, one of the cons of your area and uh, yeah. Rhino specifically right. being like an urban kind of industrial area. We thought there was gonna be places for them to go to the restroom and there's like hardly any green space. Uh, like you said, very industrial. And then also a lot of the animal owners, because they're such small patches, you really notice when someone just leaves their dog's poop out or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Like, I a feel lot like Lot do, it, but yeah. you can't not see it. Yeah. And it's, for some reason, the giant dog opener. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's Always. a big poop. Pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> the only defense I give them sometimes in the spring is sometimes your dog poops in the snow and you can't get it, and then it melts and there's like, poop. <laughs> mm. not all of you. Yeah. Sometimes some of you are like taking advantage of that. <laughs> this is gonna be a weird conversation. <laughs> <laughs> It poops in the yeah. smells. Facts. Like, Facts. 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 Poop is hot. <laughs> <laughs> if you like that fun fact and learn something there, give us a thumbs up on this video. We appreciate you appreciating us. Next con. Bloody boogers. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so dry that like you'll just get random nosebleeds and you'll start coughing and I feel like you have to drink a million gallons of water here which you wouldn't think so because it's not like super hot here but it's super dry. Mother nature is so unforgiving. A lot of times you need a humidifier. Your skin feels dry, your lips get dry so you gotta stay all like slathered in lotion. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get slathered. <laughs> and every time you travel too and you come back you get the like the bloody boogers again. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough people are talking about yeah. this. <laughs> but the advantage of the altitude when it comes to like drinking, mm -hmm. even though it's an expensive city, it takes less to get you drunk. So Have true. you experienced that? We have. Uh, get drunk <laughs> fast. <laughs> when we first moved here, especially like our first night here, we were like all tired and everything for moving and we went to a bar to go drink and we had like one and we're already like feeling it. We're like, mm -hmm. what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. I think we had three beers total that I night. Know. We were pretty, pretty good, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it definitely happens here. It hits you a lot faster than. Yeah. Well, when you go home, your friend's like, jeez, man. <laughs> you can drink so much. You're like, I don't know. I can't get drunk right now. It's, I know. It's no, it's the whole jack bottle. Yeah. You can't just <laughs> chug it. I know, you kind of feel like a champion, yeah. uh, but not in a good cool. way. But it kind of like counters it out. It's a pro and a con. Inflation. Yeah. Faster. But then like the prices on beer, like you could pay like eight, nine bucks for a beer in some of these places, especially in Rhino, and uh, that sucks. So yeah. you get drunk faster, but you're actually like still probably playing more. I hate it. Yeah, yeah it sucks. It. Cool, hit him another pro. The mountains are very close. Being close to the mountains is pretty awesome being in Denver. I mean, being in Dallas where we came from, the closest mountain was 800 miles away. I'm not really sure. Here. I love the mountains because you can literally drive there within 25, 30 minutes. You can hike, you can get fresh air, you can get all zen out in nature, you can sit on a rock and just contemplate life. You can see 14ers, you can see animals, wildlife is everywhere. I mean, it's, the mountains are awesome. And so I think after COVID, a lot of people are like, if I could work, 
from anywhere and be anywhere. Like I want to get to the mountains. Mountains are good for your soul. It's hard to explain until you get up in there, but it, it's good for you. Next up, they put this as a con. I'm not really sure what you guys are like think is a negative about industrial like improvements. So what do you not <laughs> like about construction? You like when they just tear shit down? No, I mean I get it that you know in downtown areas you're gonna have a lot of construction. I know that has to do with a growing infrastructure and a growing economy, but it's still kind of sucks everywhere that you drive lanes are randomly closed at different times and just, I do like new building but sure, it's the best it's the best it's like one of the <laughs> highlights of my day it sucks when yeah you anywhere you're trying to drive there's always traffic because of construction mm -hmm. I feel you there's all kinds of cranes everywhere uh, let's hit him with the pro bars Yeah, I like that you can walk to lots of different bars, restaurants, coffee shops, stores. But where you are, there's a lot of like little spots that are bars. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. there's a book called The Zillow Effect, where Zillow started like writing analytics and data on different cities and stuff. And what they found was areas like Rhino that were traditionally a little bit lower income and industrial. What you would find is like the sous chefs from the big restaurants downtown. They wanted to start their own place. So they came to some of these littler spots, started a little cafe, a little bistro. And uh, that's why in your area, you have so many like breweries, mm -hmm. like smaller breweries and just little pop-up restaurants like Hole in the Walls. It's probably I also mean. why it's a little bit expensive, but it's cool because mm -hmm. we have a variety of different restaurants and bars to go to. Right. So. It's yeah. cool. You can just like walk anywhere and go to a bar. You don't have to get an Uber. So I really like that about mm -hmm. it too. Yeah. Speed limits. The speed limits are definitely slower here than they are in Texas. Like in Texas, we have highways that are like 75 and sometimes even 80. And here it seems like the majority of streets have all been around 30 to 40. Mm -hmm. And then you get onto the highway and it's 55, some places 65 if you want to get crazy. Maybe it's the, it's snow, the snow or something, or... <laughs> but but it just seems like it's just slower. Eric has a very Eric specific pro that he wants to <laughs> let y'all know. Also check out his super sweet YouTube channel. Here's all the information. Oh. I like his. He's got a little bit more of his personality if you like it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. But like skateboarding robot videos are, are new and hot on his channel. And then urban exploration. Urban exploration. Oh yeah, so, getting into some abandoned malls and buildings and awesome skateboarding. The skateboarding scene in Denver is pretty awesome. I noticed that when I got here, there's a lot of skate spots. Denver doesn't really care that you skate anywhere. And mm. I haven't been kicked off anywhere yet, so mm. that's pretty cool. There's lots of skate parks. Uh, a lot of the people that I've met here have been pretty cool. Uh, well, just in general, but skaters as well. And so I've been able to make like a lot of skateboarding friends pretty fast on the streets. At the skate parks, it's a little different. People are a little bit clicked up. But otherwise, the skateboarding scene is pretty awesome here in Denver. <laughs> Did not know that. I have no experience. Um, we'll have to get you out on the board. I like to go for it. Did you see that? In my head, I walk into things like, I got this. <laughs> and That's then, a good way to, yeah, it is. Good way to be. I can skate! Unless you don't. And then, <laughs> so negative, you put taxes? You in Texas don't have we don't have state tax. State, state tax. tax, yeah. Because we don't own a house right now here in Colorado, we haven't experienced that part. I did read about that, which is another reason why moving to Colorado, we were like, oh, cool, yeah. we have low property nice taxes. Park. But as far as having state taxes and federal. and federal taxes, it's weird to have the state tax. Mm. We, we never experienced that in Texas, so it made it a little bit cheaper. I think everything kind of offsets sure. at the end, but it was a little weird to have to file two different kind of tax forms within the same form, mm. I guess. Yeah, I get that. That's a negative for you. Walkability, do you think is pretty sweet in Denver? Yeah, I really think everything is super walkable. In Texas, of course, it's such a big state that everything's super spread out. Here, I feel like there's just so much to walk to. Or you know. scoot to, we have all the lines. Yeah, scooters. there's oh, like, yeah. here there's just a better infrastructure for things to even be walkable and be safer yeah. to mm -hmm. walk. And I think too with our awesome weather, like it's always yeah. drawing you out. You're like, I need to get outside. Oh yeah. 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 What do you hate? Tell us what you hate. Things, Things close, close way, way too early. early. The restaurants, especially the shopping, mm -hmm. anything that you want to go to, it's like closed at noon. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> or they're like, they take off Monday and you're like, come on, man. Please! Please! 
like finding good food out here yeah. after 10 o'clock. It's like a no-go. I absolutely hate that. Even the bars close earlier. I think a lot of places will do last call at 1.15. All you have is pizza after 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sucks. We usually end up going to McDonald's. McDonald's yeah, like we have McDonald's time. like seven times a week because it's the only thing that's open at all. Wow, that is. You guys look great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the walkability. That's it's the walkability. Walk <laughs> well, that is it. If you guys that have lived here have anything else, uh, any other young gohards that have been watching the channel that have experienced other things, pros and cons about moving to the area, put them in the comments below. We love helping you guys out. Any last parting words? I would just say, we started watching this dude like a year before we got here one of the big reasons that we moved to Colorado so keep watching this channel hit that subscribe button it's not just words hit that subscribe button there you go yeah. that's what's up thanks for having us thank you you're the best <laughs> appreciate you guys